Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to do a knot ponytail. Um, this is going to be kind of a sneaky technique to give the illusion that you've just tied your hair in a knot, but I'll take it through about two steps to make it very easy to do. Um, my hair's been styled with a one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron, so it's kind of a looser wave than my normal tighter curl. Um, I've got a quage uplifting foam at my roots, and then just a little bit of hairspray throughout to hold the shape. Um, but my hair's been done now for about, I don't know, about six hours, so it's kind of relaxed a little bit, which is how I like it. Um, all you'll need for this style is a few clear elastics, probably just one to two. Um, these duck boat clips are pretty important for this style, so they're great for holding hair just out of the way without putting a crease in it with a jaw clip. And then some bobby pins. And then I'm going to use these really, really cute um, felt flower bobby pins made by Three Bird Nest. They're really cute. I'm happy with them. So you can see the size, you know, compared to like my pinky finger. They're pretty much the same length of it. And the flower is just small enough to be subtle and kind of understated, but add a little bit of adornment to your hair. I will include a link to the Three Bird Nest shop below this video in the blog post. Go check it out. She's got a lot of great stuff. So what we're going to do here to start is section off our hair from about our ear up to the part but then we're going to go a little bit lower and section this all the way down to here. So you go all the way down to your hairline. And then this is where the duckbill clips come in. You want to just clip that hair forward so it stays separated. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now I've got my hair parted a little bit to the side. You can do this with any part whatsoever, with or without bangs, straight or curly hair. And I would say lengthwise, you'd want to stick with about my length. You might be able to go a little bit shorter, but definitely give it a try because you never know if it'll just all of a sudden work for you. Okay, so over here, get this all sectioned off. Over here, we've sectioned off this whole part as well, down to our nape. Okay, so you can see that's being held out of the way. So this section that's left in the middle, let me grab it here. We're going to bring it in a very low side pony and put the clear elastic right here. So since I've teased it already this morning, I still have a lot of lift. If you want to add a little bit of lift to your hair, um, you can refer to my How to Tease Your Hair tutorial. So we're just going to go around a few times. And I always like to kind of stretch it out. Make sure it's on the side. Perfect. Okay, so now you can take those clips out that you're done with that section. Have a few bobby pins ready to grab. We're going to take these two sections that you left out. Go right over the section you put the elastic in and just tie these in a knot and then pull it tight right over that elastic. So right over top of it. And here is where placing the bobby pins, you kind of want to place them right on top of the tails. So I'm holding a tail right here. Because you want to make sure those parts are being held together so the knot doesn't slip out. I'm going to put one more pin in there just for extra security. Okay, so we've got the knot tied. From here you can kind of stretch it out a little bit. You know, I like to pull some hairs loose around my face, so I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm going to check my knot status. Perfect. So this hair, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull it underneath the pony and pin it right in there so you can't really see those tails sticking out. So if you have hair much longer than mine, you'll definitely have to do that. 
And all I would say is just to kind of pull it around and pin it in the bottom. So let's see if that did it. Perfect. Cute. Okay. So that way you've got the knotted ponytail effect without having to grab, you know, two huge sections of your hair and tie it in a knot and then stick a thousand bobby pins in to hold it in place. So we're going to finish by, all I'm going to do with this is just kind of slip it in. My hair holds these sort of things really well, um, but this is made on a bobby pin, so you can definitely open it and push it in some hair if you need it to lock on. And these are super sturdy bobby pins, so sort of no matter your texture, it'll definitely work. But for me, I think it'll work just to kind of jam it in right at the top of my knot. Yes, I think that works quite well. Perfect. And that's all. You can finish with a little bit of hairspray if you need some lift um, and maybe fluff out the side ponytail a little bit, but you won't need a lot. It'll definitely hold because you've got that elastic in there and then it, that knot is tied right over top of it. So I hope you enjoyed this style. Um, this is a great kind of casual way to pull your hair back, but still keep it interesting around the back. If you want to see any other hairstyle techniques, please visit my blog and go to the Hairstyle Tutorials page. I've got, I think, close to 50 at this point um, available on there, and you can also check out my YouTube channel as well. Um, let me know how it works for you. Send pictures. I would love to see it. And be sure to check out Three Bird Nest because she makes these adorable accessories and headbands and all sorts of things that you probably should add to your collection. Thanks for watching.